Right, so next step. Um, the bulkhead is just resting on there. I think it's just two bolts I need to undo. And the same with the gearbox, that's just sitting there. Balancing. When I started doing this, I wasn't too sure whether to replace the whole wiring loom or not. Um, but I'm starting to pull it out now. The wiring loom goes to the rear inside the chassis. And you know, already I can see pretty poor connections. And that's actually inside the chassis, so you wouldn't even know if that thing went. Yeah, the insulation is perishing on a lot of the wires there, and that's buried right deep inside the chassis. I think it's about 450 quid uh, to get a complete new wire loom, so that'll be okay. I was all ready to start cutting up this chassis um, using the plasma cutter and my air compressor. That's decided not to turn on. So that's a bit of a pain because I can't use a plasma cutter now. Uh, thing is, I've had this compressor a while now and it did something like this many years ago. It just suddenly stopped working and it was a real pain to fix. I had to order several parts and uh, yeah, I just threw it right down. I had no clue what was wrong with it. It's not really something I wanted to be doing today. So I've had to use my mini grinder. Not ideal because it's getting quite hot. Um, one of the things I wanted to do here, one of the bolts I couldn't get off on the bulkhead. So it's easier just to go in and cut it off rather than struggling with the bolt itself as soon as the chassis has been replaced anyway. That's the bulkhead off that side. Same again that side. The uh, All the brake pipes were really corroded, I couldn't get the nuts off at all. Well, I was going to try and keep them just to um, sort of use them as templates for the next So I ended up cutting them. I'll be replacing all the brake pipes anyway, so it's no pr big problem. So hopefully now I can get this uh, bulkhead off. Although, you can absolutely guarantee that I've left something on. Let's have a look. I mean, we've pretty much figured out that this whole chassis is completely corroded, but it's interesting to see it anyway. Those, uh, that's where the front of the bulkhead actually bolts into, and you can see it's completely rotten underneath, and you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even see that. It's behind the, uh, the plate that holds the front of the bulkhead on. Okay, finally got the bulkhead off. It's looking in pretty poor shape. Um, I'm not going to bother looking into that at the moment though. Um, priority is to get the chassis cut up because I've got the new one coming in a week. So gearbox next. It's already disconnected, just need to move it out of the way. Uh, unfortunately my mini angle grinder is starting to cut up bits of chassis and unfortunately that's overheated and blown up as well. On top of that my phone suddenly stopped working. Um, I have no idea why. I had it in my pocket when I was grinding earlier so I don't know whether any heat got onto it or something. So all in all not a great day. Oh how am I overruled? I've got a bigger angle grinder on order, that's going to come tomorrow, so I'm going to get this gearbox off now. Uh, maybe take a bit of the suspension off, leave the chassis outside overnight and then get up tomorrow and then pretty much all I've got to do is just uh, cut the chassis up.
something like this to this on the lower down a bit. So if it does drop, not got far to go. So started cutting it down today. Uh, new nine inch grinder arrived, which is pretty cool. Been trying to cut it up into manageable chunks so I can check it out the scrap man. And an added bonus is that my little trusty mini grinder is now working. It must have just overheated because as soon as I tried it this morning it worked fine. It's a big hammer when you need one. <coughs> right back of the garage.
Well, I haven't actually finished cutting it up completely. I've got a lot of it off though. It's been one of those days where, you know, I came out this morning and I thought, right, there's two things I need to do. One, take this, the, the shock absorbers off, and I give myself an hour for that, and then for the rest of the day, cutting up the chassis. But as per every single job on this landy, everything's taken a lot longer than what I plan. Um, mainly because I'm on my own doing it as well, you know, and it's knackering, but it's probably about half four now. Um, I probably could have stayed out to cut these last couple of pieces out because I'm going to do another cut there, maybe another one there. So one, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Five more cuts and angle grinder, and that's it. Uh, this will do. You know, even if I get the uh, the chassis comes next week, I can just take these bits out, cut them up quickly, and get the new chassis in. But overall, it's been a pretty good day. <sighs> Hopefully, we'll get the chassis and we can start doing something a bit more interesting. The problem with the shock absorbers, I was hoping to um, keep them because. Um, according to pink they're upgraded ones anyway and they're worth keeping unfortunately i just could not get this front shock absorber off at all there's a sort of upside down there's a nut underneath there 18 mil i think the idea is you're supposed to just you know loosen that and you know but the problem is the top of the shock absorber turns as well uh, but i just could not get these two fronts off so in the end you know i was just getting tired i thought well i might as well cut it and anyway when I examined the rear, where is it? So this is the rear shock absorber anyway. There's a lot of, on, there's a lot of damage on the bottom where it's completely bent from the accident. Uh, probably still works fine, but I'll just replace them all now. I'm pretty much replacing everything, <laughs> apart from the registration blade. Oh, on the engine. Now, I'm off for a cup of tea.